All right, now you see, I finished the sketch and uh, I made her hair fuller and I even wrote some text right here. Okay, well, now I'm gonna show you how I color. Now, like I said, this is an off white sheet of paper, so I'm not gonna color on it. I'm actually gonna color on a clear white sheet of paper. See, I already have a sketch right here, and I already colored some areas, but I didn't color the rest. Well, I even colored the speech balloon, too. Look at what it says. Wow, you gorgeous, man. Over here it says, coloring for adults only. <sighs> now, you see, I believe that, uh, let me pick a color first. What am I going to use? Uh, Let's make her uh, her swimsuit. Uh, uh, let's make her swimsuit sort of a uh, an azure. Let's yeah, let's make an azure swimsuit. Okay, I like azure. It's a beautiful color. I believe that uh, you know most people think that only little kids are allowed to use crayons. I don't believe that. I believe that. Uh, Wait a minute, let me make sure I don't lose that. I believe that uh, uh, crayons are like uh, cartoons, uh, eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and watching Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. Because those are things that most little kids are only allowed to do. You know, most, most adults don't watch a lot of cartoons. And, most adults don't usually eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and most, many adults do watch Mr. Rogers, but not a lot of them. You know, those are things that adults do anyway, and can get away with. Well, I get away with using crayons, and I'm not the only one either. And that's what I'm doing, I'm mixing colors. See, that's the interesting thing that I know how to do with crayons. Some adults can do things that little kids can do that little kids don't know how to do. You know, little kids, I don't know any little kids who use crayons like this. See, most people only mix colors with paint. I mix colors with crayons. See, what I did was I put a little bright cereal in, sort of around the swimsuit, and I did white directly over that. So now I got an Azure swimsuit. Now it's, I think I'll leave her shoes in white. I'm not gonna color them. Let's make the uh, the, the box beige. Now I'm gonna use some apricot, slight apricot color. I'm gonna take the some. Let me take some almond. <coughs> Like I was saying, most people believe that crayons are only for little kids, especially Crayola. But I believe that adults can use crayons too, because there are special things that adults can do with crayons that children can't do. And, well, what I do is I mix colors. See, I'm starting to make beige. I very lightly do the apricot like that. Uh, put that back. And do the almond directly over that. Notice how the outlines are a little bolder than they were on the other sketch. That's so uh, it'll be easy to show on YouTube because you see, when they aren't bold enough, and they become a little faint when you show them on YouTube, and you have to like use YouTube's uh, HDR effect to improve the look. But if you don't want to do that, and you think you do it too much, you have to make sure the outlines are bolder next time you do some artwork. All right, <clears throat> so that's very Asian now. Let's make the guy's shirt pink. Look over here. Take a little bit of violet red and some ultra pink, or shocking pink as it says on the crown. Uh, just very lightly. 
very lightly and gently do that violet red like that. Not too much pressure, just very lightly. That violet red. Of course, this is a very big picture. My and Mary Lou Hanner fix are usually a lot smaller than this. Or, so they'll be easy to, you know, like put on the put on the uh, tabletop, decorate everywhere. Sort of like set them on the tabletop for like decorations. They aren't the kind of pic. My pictures aren't the kind of pictures that you want to show in an art gallery. They're too small. About the size of a tarantula, depending on uh, uh, how much effort I put into them. And they take a long time to sketch and color. Sometimes, you know, most of the time I don't do the sketching and the coloring together. Sometimes I just start the sketching and then I wait till some other time to color them. It's easier that way. You know, sometimes I play taxi in the background while I'm working or some music. You know, it doesn't exactly help my concentration, but you know, I just like a little entertainment while I'm working. Let's give him some khaki pants. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do khaki. Uh, I'm gonna get some tumbleweed and I need a little bit of olive green. Find you all green in here. Uh, could you believe that one time while I was coloring one simple, well, it wasn't exactly simple, but could you believe, oh, that's screen green. Could you believe that one time while I was working, uh, I had some taxi playing in the background. It took me three episodes to color one picture. Can you believe that? Three episodes. And that didn't include the time it was sketched. No, it was sketched a lot earlier. Um, did you know, uh, I mean, how long, how long is a taxi episode about commercial breaks? Like, uh, 22, 23 minutes long? That was like 69 minutes. It took me 69 minutes to do a picture. Can you believe that? Now, I'm not going to do the olive green too much. Just very slightly, just like I did the beige, with the beige and the, and the pink. And then, I've always wanted to show you how I do this, so that you get a rough idea what it's like. Unfortunately, most people don't ever look at my pictures when I upload them on YouTube, and it upsets me because I work hard on them. I try to do the best I can to amuse people. It just doesn't work. It will someday. Somebody will find them comment on them but let's make the thumbs up shark for years you know it's really hard work you know this is this is really hard work you may think it's simple and it's fun but most of the time it's very hard work and very often, whether it's sketching or coloring, you need concentration. All right, well, that's, I'd say that's a fully finished picture. What do you think? Like I said, this is just a, a demonstration picture. My pictures are usually a lot smaller than that, about this big or this big, you know, kind of like the size of a tarantula. Well, I guess I'm done. Thanks for watching. Whether that interested you or not is anybody's guess. Isn't it interesting? That? Well, I'm done. I'll put the crayons up when I'm finished, okay? Turn, I'll, I mean, I'll put, I'll, not when I'm finished. I'll put them up after I turn the camera off, okay? All right. Bye-bye, and I hope sometime you take a look at these and comment on my videos. I can turn this stupid camera off.